Hello everybody and welcome back to Rose Lane. I have my son here behind me because he's showing me how to use a camera. So hopefully this will work. So we'll see what's going to happen. Anyway, I put some pictures up on uh, Facebook last night on some of the groups of this little thing that I did. And uh, it was something that Yvonne uh, Preston had showed in her Beautiful Birds video, her Artie Mays uh, kit. She had done it out of just uh, tea stain or coffee stain paper and I think it was an 8 by 8 so it was just a tiny little plain thing um, that she had stuck a few tags in and it has a pocket in the middle and she stuck a few little tags in there so she did say that she used to do these with somebody else I think she said the name of the woman who probably designed it maybe I'm not sure was Christina Betts um, I couldn't find a video right off the bat she has a lot <laughs> so I didn't try searching so what I did was I froze um, the frame while I was watching uh, Yvonne's video and just took a look at it and tried to figure out how would you fold this to get that shape so I decided that I would do it with the um, scrapbook paper with a double-sided scrapbook paper and this is from Tales of You and Me this paper that I used and the cards all the journal cards that I put in here are from um, my porch prints and I think this is the rose ephemera pack everything has roses on it so that is what I used so I'm going to show you this just a little bit because you can't always see it um, in the pictures that well to really kind of get an idea of what it is but it is what well, I'm gonna do something different this one has a pocket in the middle and I just made just a plain journaling card because I was kind of doing this fast last night and I just made a plain card but what I'm gonna do tonight uh, with this is I'm gonna make another one just like this I'm even gonna cheat I'm gonna use the ribbon and I'm gonna take the card so I don't have to duplicate anything um, I just wanted to get this particular one up because you all know that I'm moving so um, I'm running out of time <laughs> um, so what I'm going to make out of this now is a journal. It's going to look like these envelopes on either side, but instead of being glued here and here, I'm going to leave it open and I'm going to sew in a small signature into the book. Um, so it looks like envelopes, but it's really a journal. So, which is, I thought was going to be kind of cool. So I'm just going to untie this and we're going to get uh, started because I'm going to reuse these pieces. So I'm just going to put this stuff over here try to kind of keep it together. So when you take all of this stuff out, like I'm doing here, this is what you get. It opens like this, and I just stuck a little bit of ephemera in here just to have something to stick in. Um, so it's like that on one side. I took out the cards from the other side, and it's the same thing. And it just looks like this envelope, and it has another piece of ephemera in it, which I'll probably stick these in the other piece as well. I edged this with some lace and we'll be doing some other stuff with uh, not much. I'm going to leave these kind of plain, um, th these pages. I think I'm going to stencil on a few. Um, I took out 10 papers, I think. I, I don't think it's going to be too much for the journal, I'm hoping, because I'm not going to really embellish anything. I'm just going to really stencil. I, I wanted this to stay a little plainer so it had more uh, room for journaling um, so this is what I'm going to show you I'm going to put this to the back <clears throat> and I took a piece of scrap um, 12 by 12 paper not my favorite pattern um, and the only thing is with this is you have to be very precise the points have to be very pointy so there's two ways that you can measure for this and that is to measure six inches in and six inches over on a 12 by 12 whatever paper whatever size paper you use it just has to be square and I apologize for my hands because of all the packing and stuff my, I'm just a mess they're not usually in good shape to begin with um, so you can just put a dot in the middle and you just bring your points to that dot like this I'm hoping you can see all of this this way and when you're there, you can kind of fiddle with it a little bit. This is just a, a thinner paper, so this was more like a template. Or you can, and I don't know if you can see, I folded, but I'll try to bring it up. I just drew a pencil line 
don't know if you can see the pencil lines, but there's pencil lines in here. And again, when you measure, it's six inches to the middle, six inches, six inches, six inches. You can do both. You can have the dot and the line. Um, and what I did here was um, I just, originally I just folded it into the dot, did this, and then I measured in here. This is an eight inch piece and you're measuring six inches in from each corner, if that is making sense. So they fold in like this, and then all you do is take it and fold it back on itself. I'm hoping this isn't too dark of a piece. I think you can see it. You fold it back on itself. I'm trying to see it without getting my head in the frame. I think it's better if I turn it around this way so I can see. Now, I didn't ink any of, of this. This one's just, um, just a template. So that was pretty easy. That's all you do. And there you have your envelope. And what we're going to do with uh, another piece of paper is we're going to turn this then into a journal. And we'll have the little envelopes on the outside, envelope looking things on the outside, journal on the inside. So that's how you do it. 12 by 12, measure to six inches in the dot in the middle or six inches from each corner. And then just, in my case, I just folded it because this was pretty easy. With the other uh, paper that we're gonna use, I'm gonna use the same piece of paper that I did last night. This was from um, Tales of You and Me. Uh, what we're gonna do is we can, I think I already marked this. I have my little pencil mark, so you probably can't see that. And we're going to score them. Let me get these guys out of the way here. This won't fit on a scoreboard, unfortunately. So we're going to score them. Let me find the right ruler. Here it is. Just with our bone folder and our ruler, okay? This one, you might be able to see, if I bring it up close enough, you can see the little, the little tick mark I made there, and there's one over here. I don't know if you can see that as well. I'm trying to make sure it's in both, because I have both cameras going right now, um, in case I do something wrong with the other camera. When you're going to score, you have to take into consideration that this is a little wider. Um, so you don't want to take your mark right up to the end over here of the paper, because when you do that, you're going to be left with this tiny little flat edge when you try to fold them. So just go just inside those little tick marks that you made, just inside, so that you can account for the width of the bone folder. And then you're just going to fold. You're just going to score it. And if it isn't perfect, because this isn't, you know, like a perfectly perfect way of doing this because you can play with it a little bit you can you know kind of fiddle with it some and make sure that it will fit right and I'm on I've got my mat on top of my cutting board and it slides a little when it's on this white part of my table it tends to stay uh, a little staticky so it kind of stays in place which I kind of like all right so here's the third one, and then the last one, just inside that line, just the tiniest little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here because I'm going to uh, I'm gonna sew on the machine. I think I'm gonna try to sew these in. Mm, I don't know. I may have to do the pamphlet stitch on that. Um, so anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I've got my score lines, and I'm just going to fold in and fold in. And fold in. Now this one I think might be a little too close. No, oh, it's all right. Line it up, if you can see this, line it up so that these things meet. What you're concerned about are these points out here, okay? If it, if it works there, it should work on the inside. 
in like that. And then you just burnish. Press it all down. Now I did ink around this um, on the other one and I really do want to do this and you should do it um, before, uh, for these parts anyway, you should do it before you, um, you know, close it <laughs> and seal it all up. So that's what I'm going to do. Get these edges. I hope you can see what this other camera is kind of at a funny angle. So just doing this quick. You can always go back and kind of fix this a little bit, but I want the very edges done. And I'm on this particular one, I wouldn't worry about the inside because it's kind of kind of hard to see. I mean, you can try, but you're not going to see most of that. Anyway, on this particular paper, you won't see um, any of the lighter spots too much that you'll really notice that you didn't ink or something. So that takes care of that. So then when you fold it in, you just have to decide what you want where. Um, so I think... I like this flap, so I think I'm going to fold mine this way, and since I'm here, I'm going to try to see if I can score it with this down, just so that, push my ink out of the way here. Um, all I'm concerned about is, oh, this is an eight and a half inch square, I'm sorry, eight and a half inches, so we're at four and a quarter. So just a couple four and a quarter marks so that you have the proper place to score. And again, you're going to, it's my lace for my pockets, you're going to bring it just inside those little dots and score. That will help. Bring it in. Oops, I'm folding it the wrong way. Here we go. All right. Make sure I have it pretty, pretty much lined up. This is very thick paper. So takes a little bit of playing. It doesn't fold quite as easily as the other one did. So let's get some of that down. Okay. Like that. And what I'm going to do, which I'm not going to do it just yet, but I am going to try to just sort of push these down a little bit, only because I've not tried to put um, a journaling paper in the middle of these before. And that's generally where your hole is going to go. Um, so I think what I'm going to try to do is to do, and I don't know if this is proper or not, but it's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do two three-hole pamphlet stitch, one up here, one up here, and I'm just going to glue a little bit in here to kind of hold this down. I think that's kind of my plan. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see what I can do if I can do that. So this is all it takes and I'm going to do a little bit more in here. Just in on the cover some Give it a little bit more character. You know, when you start getting a little bit older, you just say you have more character as you get older. <laughs> yeah, well, that's my story. So I'm getting older. I don't know about anybody else out there, but I look in the mirror and I wonder who this person is staring back at me because I don't recognize this person. 
I told somebody not too long ago, I said, I don't know how to be old. I've only ever been young. I don't know what to do to be old. So it looks like I've got almost everything here. I think so. Let me just get over here. I want to get the top of this. And since I'm not um, making this into an inside pocket, I'm going to go inside here as well a little bit. I want a whole bunch, just a little bit. So I do apologize for having to ink on camera, but I wanted to show you how to actually fold it and I couldn't ink it until it was folded. So, so that's what we're going to do. I will try to take this right to the finish of this piece. All right, I'm going to move this over here. I don't think at the moment, not at the moment, I will need it. So that's what you have so far. I'm not going to put these things in until the end. What I'm going to work on now is putting the paper in here. But before I put the paper in, I want to do um, probably let me just a little, little, little bit of stenciling. So let me get, let me bring this back. This is um, antique linen that I'm using here. I either usually use the, uh, which I said before, use the brush corduroy, which is kind of a nice golden brown. It's not as dark as um, vintage photo. And this is almost the same, except it's lighter, but it's a nice kind of golden beigey brown color. It's really nice. I like those. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I've <laughs> got this gigantic stencil, which is absolutely beautiful. But um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try using the small one here. See if I can get it in. Hmm. I've got projects, projects, projects sitting all around the desk. So let's try to line this up a little bit. That looks pretty good. I'm going to try to do this on, if I can do it quickly, lightly. on every page just a hint I don't want it dark I just want this sort of hit or miss kind of pattern it's really not even coming out on here so let's try that again I'm going to do it again I can't even see it, so I'm going to try that one more time. Get you over there. All right. Oh, that was too dark. <laughs> I went from one extreme to another. Let's get down there. I have these, you know, ink. Uh, tea splotches on the paper and through the stencil it looked like I had some ink on there but apparently I did not so how's that ah that's better not bad I may not do every page maybe every other page so we'll do this we'll flip it over and do it on the other side So I'll just do five of these pages. Do, do, do. Okay. You can do this with a color, um, pinks or pale blues or whatever colors you know you decide. I'm a little off, but that's okay. Um, pale greens, whatever color you think would look nice with whatever papers you're choosing and like I said you can do um, a couple of different things Oops. Um, with this you don't have to put in quite so many pages uh, if you want to do some embellishing you can do some small embellishing I'm just trying not to make it too fat because I don't know yet how that will affect the um, 
how the envelopes lay. Uh, you know, how the cover will lay on the outside and that point that comes down at the point of that envelope for the flap. If you put too much in, I'm afraid that it will start to affect that. So before I actually stitch the pages in, I'm going to kind of put them in and see how that, just kind of lay them in and close the cover and see what happens with, um, this one's just a little too colored with tea. Um, I put them in and see what happens uh, with that. So, and I'm, I may adjust how many pages I actually put in uh, just so that it doesn't get too bulky because I am intending to put a little bit of, a uh, couple of little lace pockets in and possibly uh, a couple little tucks on the cover, on the covers front and back. Um, and um, with a couple of cards in there as well. So, you know, by the time you add this and you add that, it starts to bulk up and then you're, you know, it's, it may start to deform a little bit. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. So we'll see what we get. I think I just have one more, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one more I'm gonna do. Another one that's not too, too colored. Here we go. And the last side over here. And I'll just alternate these in the book if I can get all the pages in. So let's see. All right. Get you there, get you there. And I'll clean the stencil off later. My dog is in the room with me again. I mentioned that because he was just kind of making dog sounds. Um, so hopefully he'll kind of sleep through this whole thing. <laughs> if we're lucky. My husband and my brother-in-law and my son are on the other side of the door, I believe, still. So if I had to, I can call them in. All right, I'm just gonna put this up and out of the way for now. Now I think all over my fingers. Put that back there, get this out of the way. All right, let's get these, see what we have. That's our prototype. All right, we'll start with one and then the other, and then another, and then another, 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 another. yes I am, another, another, and another, and I think that's everybody going in the right direction, yes. Okay, so if I put this in, now this is what I'm concerned about. So I think what I'm gonna do, if you can see, when I put those papers in, this is popping up. Can you see that? That doesn't lay flat. Uh, somebody's over there. Oh, my son's on the other side. So, my dog is now wanting to get out. My son's on the other side of the basement. He and my husband have a um, little shop area set up because my son is a fencing coach, you know, sword fighting, and they have a little area over there where they're um, setting things up to fix things. So I think what I'm going to do I think instead of putting this card in as part of this, which I probably still can do. You know what? I'm going to wait. I'll wait. Let's do let's do the inside first. All right. So let's get the pages in. I think this should be enough. I think when you close it, I think it'll be all right. So I'm going to try to I really would rather stitch it to tell you the truth. It would just go so much faster. Well, let's give it a shot. The worst that can happen is what? My sewing machine yells at me. That would be the worst thing that happens. All right, you know what I will use though? Let me get my clips out of here. Out of my kit. All right. I said in one of my 
previous videos that I have a very old sewing machine. My sewing machine is about 42 years old, which is pretty old. <laughs> I actually received it as a gift when I was 18 for Christmas. And I have had the same sewing machine since. So now if you have any kind of mathematical ability, you've just figured out how old I am. Um, so anyway, and I didn't realize just, I mean, I realize how old it is, but I didn't realize how the difference mechanically um, in the, uh, I'm going to take these out just so they don't accidentally sew them in, in the um, makeup of the uh, sewing machine until I heard it on the video and I heard how it sounded and it was just, it doesn't sound anything like everybody else's. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and plug my sewing machine in and I'll be coming over here for a minute and then I'll be back. Let's hope this works. All right. Again, no editing. <laughs> and I'm trusting all of you guys who tell me, oh, no, don't edit. We're good. We like that. So I'm going to trust that. I'm going to just put my line down the center so it's easier for me to see and get started. All right. the pedal was the right way, wouldn't it? Generally speaking. There we go. Hmm. It's not liking it, ladies. <laughs> no, it doesn't like it. I'm afraid it's not too happy here. What do I have? What do I have? All right, let me see. Hang on one minute being temperamental. Let me see if I can get it to straighten out a little bit. All right, let's try again. It keeps coming. I'm going to loosen up the tension a little. It really is getting stuck. No, I'm not going to try. All right, so what I'm going to do I'm going to have a few holes in here. Yes, I am. But that's okay. I'm just going to pull these out. It is not a happy camper. Trying to be careful just to not tear anything while I'm pulling them. There we are. Yes, one of my things is to get a new sewing machine. <laughs> All right, that'll work. All right, so let's get back over here. Let's get this little guy out. And let's do our best. So I am going to try to do two small three-hole pamphlet stitches, knowing that that's my middle, I'm going to, yeah, put one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. All right. I've never done this before either, so this should be interesting. Let's see what I can do here. 
All right. Try to get this through. Come on, you. All right. There we go. Let's see what I can do. We'll start with one. I'm wondering. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it. I'm trying to think of what I would do with it if I, you know. pulled it through and would I want to tie the two ends together from one, you know, one to the other or something like that, but I don't think so. I think we'll just play it safe and just pretend there's two and that's it. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be off camera with this, but I'm trying to keep the threads out of my way. up. All right. So we have one. I don't know if I'm going to have enough left on that, but we're going to give it a try. So once, twice, and I'll just snip them a little bit. All right, let's see if I have enough left on here to do this one more time. I think I should. Let's hope. Okay, one. Do believe. All right, so our pages are in. Get rid of this stuff later. Trim this little guy off. Put that away later. All right, let's get these off of here. Then what I'm gonna do, yeah, I think that'll work. First, let's put our pockets in in here. That looks pretty nice, I like that. I'm gonna do one other thing. I wasn't gonna get up. I changed my mind. Somewhere in here. Maybe I lied. Ha, here it is. You can let him out if you want, honey. All right. I've got some of this paper here. It's got uh, kind of a pearlescent embossing on it. And I was thinking, and I think I can, I am going to this over for a minute. I think I'm going to trim this down and I did find a shorter ruler if I have to do it this way. So I'm going to try to bring that in a little bit. We'll bring this end in a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to come across, I'm wondering if this will, we'll do it this way. 
Okay, we'll do it this way. Okay. Pull up one. I think I'll do that like this so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll only do one of these just for the sake of kind of getting it demonstrated because I'm doing all of this by eye. And I'll cut this way. And that could make a nice little tuck or I could cut it that way. I don't know. But anyway, that one up there as this is where I was thinking of putting it if it would fit, which it sort of kind of does. It's an idea. I don't know if this will take any color at all. Just a shadow. This is what happens when you're packing up and you come across stuff and go, oh, I didn't know I had that. So that's a possibility. I'll think about that later. Okay, for right now, though, I do want to put these in, and I'm just going to use this with, um, I'm going to let this hang out the bottom a little bit, and I had other lace around here somewhere. Aha, here we go. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This will work. Let's put these back in here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, Will, can you do me a favor? Would you go get me a fork? All right, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out with this, but we're gonna give this a try. So I am going to glue this down with my, um, still wanna finish up this bottle, with my tacky glue. Try to get some of this off of here. All right. And I think that's about where I want it. Right about there. I'm probably going to have to glue the top again a little bit, but we'll see. Okay. Thank you, dear. All right. All right, then let me get a piece on this side. Not a piece, but some glue on this side. glue that across the bottom. Get all the extra glue on my hands. This is where it gets messy. Okay, and we're gonna glue here. All right. Now again, I'm not just probably for the sake of time um, I may or may not do, where is my, there they are, um, to both of these pockets, we'll see, so we have a pocket there, hoping the cards I chose will fit. Barely, but yes, they will. I do believe. Because um, my glue has been sitting upside down, it wants to bubble up. Okay, what I'm going to do, 
And I'm going to see how this will work on this one pocket. Get rid of that. And in a few minutes, we'll just stuff this all back. I'm going to use my... And they're in here. I had them. I don't know what I do with my needle now. Ah, here they are. I wanted the wider one. Okay. So we're going to try to put the ribbon in the needle here. If I can. This one's crinkly, so it's a little bit harder, and I don't know how it's going to uh, actually come out. Um, but I'm going to try to weave some of this through here. And I want to go from there to there. All right. And I um, hope you can see what I'm doing. It's so much easier if you use the needle uh, to pull the ribbon through. Oop. I'm having a habit of holding everything close to me tonight. And you're having a hard time probably seeing what I'm doing. All right, so let's pull some of that through. Down. And I don't mind if it's twisty a little bit. I think it it gives it a little bit more, I think it gives it a little bit more character. Now my dog's barking to get back in. He's just never satisfied. Okay, let's see. All right. So if I go from there to there, I think that'll be all right. All right, let's stop it there. And we'll cut this one here. And we're just going to glue this one down. Like I said, I don't want to do a whole bunch of, uh, you know what, I'm going to need something inside this pocket so that the glue does not stick. Now it's been upside down, right side up, and it doesn't want to come out. Oh, good gravy. All right. I think it's coming. All right. <laughs> or maybe not. All right. Here we go. Get some here. What would probably be a smarter idea here is um, uh, like a piece of baking parchment or wax paper or something like that because you don't want it sticking. So we're just going to put that there, put it down along the edge of the pocket, kind of like that, like that. All right. Let me get that off and put something else in there so that it doesn't want to stick. Curing. All right, now I haven't done this in a little while, in a couple of months, and I'm one of those people, oh, you know what, I'll roll this up later. I'm one of those people who gets, you know, a little confused by some things sometimes. So I want to put just a little bow on this pocket. So I'm going to cut, well, let's see. I'm trying to remember how you do it. You go this way I think. I'm hoping you can see this. And I'm going to try to make it lay sort of flat. Like I said, this is a crinkled ribbon, but this was the ribbon I used. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way while that's dry and see if you can see this. I uh, wrap the ribbon around the fork and hopefully I'll get this right. This tail in the back has to be, and I want to pull it out so that I'm sure, has to be longer than this one here. Okay, so I'm going to come way out here. It's probably way more than I need. But then you just save all those little bits and pieces for your for your clusters. Okay, so trying to keep it flat, which is easier when it's flat. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm taking this one goes down. This one goes up. I'm taking the back one. 
I'm bringing it around and underneath through the middle tongue of the fork, if I can grab it. I'm hoping, let me see if I hold my hands up a little bit. I'm putting it through that middle tongue underneath that one, okay? And there's that, and then there's this. And I'm trying to keep this flat. Like I said, a lot easier to do if it isn't crinkled. Um, then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna bring it up through the middle tongue like that. And then I'm gonna take this piece here and this piece here, and let's see if I did this right. And I'm gonna tie a knot in that. Just like that. That's a little off, but that's all right because I can open that one up on the other side. And then you just slide it off try to push that knot over a little bit because that one side is a little bit bigger. And then you would pull it down, the um, little ties. You can pull them down. Again, like I said, this would be a lot easier if you didn't have it all wrinkled up like I have it, but it still works. And then you just cut your little tails. Get rid of this. And let's see how we're doing here. That's pretty good, all right. And then just take a little bit of glue where you want it, put your glue down, and put your bow down. And sometimes because of the glue, you can position the um, little streamery things. And that's it. So we have couple of cards that I made to go inside each one and this one might have to get trimmed down a little bit because I didn't measure of course I just cut out cards oh it's going in so we have that one I might pull that up a little bit put that one down there I have these for the back um, I'm not sure how our camera is doing over here it may stop soon um, so that's probably where I'm going to stop with that but these will go into a uh, pocket in the back, lace pocket in the back, got a little bit of lace that's hanging down there, and let's see if we can get all of this put back inside. So we'll do that. We'll do one here. I want this little guy across the front. Oh, not that one. This one. That goes sideways. Put him across the front, and that helps keep that little tab down there one here, one there, one here. I think that would be okay. I'll flip it over to the back and kind of do the same thing. Put one in here. I think I like that one sort of in the middle because it's kind of tall. Let's do that one there, that one there, this one here. Kind of like that one. We'll put the little chocolate one here across the bottom tab. Uh, we'll put that guy right there. And then the same thing as I did before for how I tied my tie. So that's what we have. We have what looks like the two. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put the little things inside. You can put um, these inside the envelope. Let me pull these out. We'll do that. Hopefully we won't lose it. So you can put this inside. What do I have over here? Uh, I have some other kind of paper <laughs> that you can stick inside. Some other writing paper won't fit, so we'll fold it in half. And you can put that in there. And then these cards go back in, however you think looks pretty. So we're not and today. I'm on the camera, dear. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm almost done. Well, you're so. My husband is hungry. He says to tell my loving audience that my that he's hungry. 
so okay we're gonna take this I think this is the one because I had two pieces of ribbon we're a little late with dinner tonight because um, he thought his steak was still okay but he tells me it was aging I told him it was sitting in the refrigerator too long so okay so I'm gonna pull that let's put that back down there in this case where I normally would pull it through both through the loop I haven't been on this one I pull one through the loop and I wrap this one around the back of it come up behind it and then I knot it and if it's not perfectly right in the middle right now it doesn't matter because it slides so it really won't make that much difference and there's your bow and there's the piece and let's put a piece of that down so it looks a little bit better and there's your journal all nice and pretty and finished so that's it everybody I'm um, hoping this wasn't too long and before the battery on this other camera runs out I am going to uh, say good night that's it and I will see you again soon I have something else that's I'm going to try to put up tomorrow and we'll see what we can do with that thanks and have a blessed day everybody bye bye okay you need to come over here I need that this one